Hey everybody, welcome to another serving of Pop Rap on Tap for the weekend of July 9th. Big animated movie coming your way this weekend, and that is Despicable Me using the voice talents of Steve Carell, Jason Segel, Kristen Wiig, Will Arnett, Julie Andrews, and Russell Brand. Uh, I mean, if that alone didn't get you into theaters, then maybe you want to know that Steve plays sort of like this evil, villainous character who has his heart, his cold heart melted by three little adorable orphan girls. If it wasn't a cartoon, it could be a really creepy episode of To Catch a Predator. But it's fine, it's adorable, they play it for laughs, so good job there. Next up is Predators, not starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is a total reboot of the franchise starring tough action guys, Adrian Brody and Topher Grace. Hmm, not really my first choice, but with Robert Rodriguez behind it, I kind of trust his judgment. So we'll go with it. Plus, Adrian got like all jacked for the movie, so he definitely looks like he could take down some like dreadlocked things from another planet. I mean, because that happens every day. Who's the pianist? Remember that? I'm so hungry. Uh, then we have The Kids Are All Right. This is one of the first true Oscar contenders of the year. We're thinking maybe Best Picture if they do 10 again. You've got Julianne Moore in acting category, and the screenplay is amazing. It's the story of Julianne Moore and Annette Bening. They're a couple. Yeah, got your attention now, guys, don't I? Yeah, eyebrows went up on that one. Anyway, they have two kids via, sir, via sperm donor, and 18 years later, he comes back into their life and wackiness ensues. But I promise you, the movie is pretty amazing. It really captures family life in a way that you don't often see on screen, and I highly recommend you see it. It's really only one of the movies I plan to pay to see a second time. Doesn't happen a lot. Last time it happened was... Nope, never happened, so there you go. And finally, we have Grease being re-released as a sing-along. Yes, because there's nothing more enjoyable than being trapped in a theater with 500 people singing Summer Nights. It's kind of my idea of a nightmare, so keep it at home, folks, but call me when Grease 2 gets re-released in theaters that way, because I will cool rider all day with you. Promise, all day.